While many celebrate Juneteenth today, others are just beginning to understand what it means, which raises questions about whether Minnesota students learn enough about it in school. As Aaron Asanzada learned, some critical perspectives never make it into the history books. It's the 155th anniversary of Juneteenth, but some are just now learning about it, and education experts say here's why. If you have an educator that knows history and really understands what occurred during the Civil War time period, you probably did learn about Juneteenth, but it doesn't mean that your textbook taught you. It's actually one of the saddest things about education is that the histories of people who are marginalized and the histories of people of color they're not required in the standards. It really is educators who are filling in the gaps that our textbooks have because they've omitted stories. Minnesota teachers aren't required to teach specifically about Juneteenth, but experts say those histories are crucial to learn early. Research shows that by age nine, racial and ethnic prejudices are much harder to change. We've been saying in the field of education, maybe not right now, but later for a really, really long time. There are a couple of textbooks that are common across the United States, and I will be honest, we're missing a lot of information. So what needs to happen? We need to start with the textbooks, but we also have to go a little bit further than that and make sure that every single teacher um, has to learn the content and then unlearn what they were previously taught. It's also about taking education beyond the classroom. There are children's books and online resources like tolerance.org. We have to just train ourselves to continue to learn. With limitless information at our fingertips, experts say it's up to us to do some of the work. It's okay to not know, but once you do know, you don't get to be innocent anymore. Aaron Hassanzada, WCCL4 News. Aaron worked with the professionals you just heard from to compile a list of resources for all ages, and you can find it at WCCO.com.